Back here in our area, recovering from red tide. It's been a little while since we've talked about this, but it's hard to forget about the toxic bloom that literally affected the entire Bay Area and left some species of fish completely devastated. Well, now marine life experts are trying to bring parts of the Gulf back to life as scientists try to figure out how red tide affects humans. Brightside's Jenny Dean live at Moat Marine Laboratory in Sarasota this morning. Jenny, they need volunteers out there. Yeah, they do, and this is pretty interesting. It's kind of a side story. They, uh, there's a new study going on to research how the red tide toxins affect humans and how badly it might be affecting us. So the folks from the Ross Camp Institute, they're trying to find the answer to that, and they say there's been virtually no studies on this at all, because you know it can affect the upper respiratory system, but they have deeper questions. So they're asking for volunteers from the Sarasota area who may live around where the red tide was really thick or may have worked around those areas to volunteer for this study. Basically, they want to take blood samples a couple of times a year because they want to find out how that main toxin affects the central nervous system. Now we've already seen how this can affect marine life and the folks at Moat Marine Aquarium here in Sarasota have worked tirelessly trying to figure out what to do about that. I mean, just look, thousands and thousands of fish were killed last year alone. And the folks at Moat, well, they spawned and raised a total of 5,000 snook this past fall for release in areas that were hit hard by red tide. 2,500 fish have already been released and they plan to release more than 1,000 juvenile snook at two different sites today, a little south of here in Charlotte County. And all of those fish have been weighed and tagged, sort of like chipped, like you would do uh, your pets. But they're going to be able to keep track of these fish and see how they're thriving and see if red tide does come back, how it affects those fish. So the work does continue. Thankfully, we're not seeing any heavy concentrations of red tide right now, but they are not stopping studying this and they want to make sure that we have the recovery that we need. Of course, this new study on how this affects human central nervous system. It is just beginning. Again, they want volunteers. You can find out more information about that on our website, WTSP.com. Just look for this story. Rob.